Hey guys, it's Alexis. So, I wanted to come really quick on this hot, hot day and do a final review on my unit from PlatinumWigs.com. This is the Soft Yaki Bangs Unstyled um, 16 inches color 1B and it cost me about one, it was about 150 so prices was really decent in my opinion. Um, now we've all seen this wig plenty of times being reviewed on YouTube but the thing is we usually see the wig straight up, fresh out of the pack um, you know, brand new, everything like that, usually talking about the promotional sale that goes on with platinum wigs, but there's only so many reviews um, from people showing the wig after they had worn it for a period of time. I personally have only come across about four or five reviews, and I'll try to list a couple of them down in the description box. So I wanted to add to that number and share with you guys my experience with this wig. I purchased this wig about five weeks ago and um, shipping was great. I got the wig faster than I expected. Um, I think it took me about three days to get my wig and I was so surprised. Like my mom was like, oh your wig's here and I was like, my wig, my wig's here? I wasn't expecting it for another two days. So that was all, that's always a nice feeling when you get your stuff fast. And another thing was, yeah shipping was fast. Oh, packaging. Um, I wasn't too satisfied with packaging because I've seen everybody else get an actual platinum wigs box. I didn't get a platinum wigs box. Mine was in a regular post, you know, um, USPS box and it's packed in like a little plastic bag. There was no type of packaging or anything. They did throw a card in the box and a wig cap in the box. So the wig cap was a nice touch. I really like the um, flesh colored wig cap that they added. So packaging for me, um, maybe they ran out of platinum wig boxes and I just was the one that got gypped. I'm not a big fan of packaging. That could I could care less about it, but I mean, come on, I wanted a box. So yeah, that wasn't all that. So some of the pros of this wig are, it is just some pretty, pretty hair. The yakky texture in this wig is beautiful. Now. I know this wig ain't looking all that right now. I know this. That's because I've worn the wig to its last leg and I only put it on for this review. So yeah, but anyways, the, um, the soft yakky texture in this is beautiful. It looks just like African American relaxed hair. Another thing that I loved about this wig is that it comes kind of layered. When you get it, you don't really have to do, obviously you can style your bangs however you want to since it is unstyled, but for me, I wanted to keep the bangs exactly how they came, but I love the fact that it's kind of layered and I felt like, you know, it framed my face. So I didn't have to worry about cutting any layers to frame my face or anything like that. The wig already came layered, so I love that. Now, um, my first two weeks with the wig was really, really good. I love the hair and everything like that. Um, it doesn't hold a very good curl at all. It curls beautifully but the curl does not stay in my experience. Um, it could be because every time I curled it was when I was going out to the club and you know how it is when you're in there, it's all hot, steamy and everything and my curls drop. That could be part of the reason but I mean the curls did not last at all. So I mean you have to do a little bit of work. Maybe if I would have sp put some spritz or holding around it would last longer but I wasn't about to go through all that. And, yeah, so my first two weeks with the wig was really, really nice. I was happy. I wasn't having any issues. So, but then after that, the biggest thing with this wig, my only issue with this wig is the shedding. After about a week and a half, two weeks, um, the wig started shedding, you know, started shedding a lot more than it had in the beginning. So I was like, okay, this, this wig is shedding a lot. The third week, by the third week, it was shedding excessively. I mean hair everywhere and I mean it's still shedding right now. This unit is freshly washed. I washed it last night and air dried and I thought it was kind of poofy too. I didn't put any heat on it. I didn't even bother. But I mean from just that, all that hair came out. I, it's shedding excessively to the point where I have hair, I have a hair trail following me. It's It was nice and full. I love the fullness of this wig when I first got it. But um by the time, by now, it's very, very thin. You can't really tell as much since, you know, it's just air dried. It's kind of poofy and it looks big. It may look kind of full to you guys. I'm not sure how you guys are seeing it. But it's really, if I put some heat on it and flat iron it down, it's very thin. It's starting to get that beauty supply store weave look, you know, when it thins out and it kind of has like a, 
a stiff looking feeling to it. Yeah, that's how this hair is looking. So this is my biggest issue with this hair, the shedding. It's shedding excessively and that's the only reason why um, this wig is done. Like it's, there's no point in me wearing it never, anymore because the shedding is shedded out and um, I mean it's too thin. It does not look good. Just from running my hands through it, that's all the hair that came out. And this is freshly detangled and washed, brushed out before I hit record and everything. So, um, that's my only issue. I just want you guys to be mindful of. I didn't feel the width of, uh, feel the west of this unit like I had planned to. I just forgot and, you know, now it's too late. So maybe that would have helped. I don't know. So, I mean, you guys be the judge of it. Tangling was not an issue. This unit still doesn't tangle for me. A couple of snags, but I mean, this is what I expect with, you know, supposedly Remy hair. It, this hair just doesn't tangle for me, but it's just the shedding is what put me over the top. And I looked at and did, saw some reviews, and it seemed like people weren't having excessive shedding, problems with excessive shedding like I am, but it's just shedding too much for me. It's thinned out a lot, and yeah. So I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know, honestly, for this wig, you got probably a good month out of it. It's five weeks and I'm kind of done with it. I'm ready to put it away and not pull it back out. So yeah, you got a good month out of it. So you be the judge. I spent 150 on this unit. Shipping was free because they have like, you know, $100 free shipping, something like that. Just know if you buy one of the human hair units, you're going to most likely have free shipping. Um, so if $150 is good enough for only a month for you, you be the judge of that for me. I wish it would have lasted me a little longer. I would purchase this unit again um, and definitely seal the west of it the next time. And also, it probably I probably wouldn't make it an everyday wig. I'd pull it out when I want this type of style. But, yeah, so that's the only... Shedding is the only problem with this wig. But other than that, I love it. The only products that I've used on this unit to wash is I use the Herbal Essence... Um, Featherweight shampoo and the conditioner. Debbie Lassity is me. Um, recommended this for your beauty supply store weave. She says she, it works great on it. Doesn't weigh the hair down. And I am in love with these products because they really just did wonders for this hair. Um, didn't weigh it down and just left it feeling really soft and everything. So, yeah. Oh, and then when I put heat to it, trust me, heat protecting spray. And um, that's about it. I didn't put any really any other products on it. So, that's it, you guys. So if you have any more...